Hey guys! So, um, just to quickly say before I start talking about this video, in this video I'm going to be telling you, people in the world who want to have stretched ears, um, that you need to stretch slow and I'm going to show you like how my ears are fucked up from stretching too fast and um, how I got to one inch in one year and why it's better to go slowly. If you don't want to hear that kind of advice, if you don't want to be told what to do, or I'm not going to tell you what to do, like I'm not going to be a dick, but like if you're the kind of person who like just wants to do your own thing and find out for yourself then that's fine but if you actually want some good solid advice and time scales for all of the stretches that's what I'm going to tell you how long I waited and how long you ought to wait between each stretch and just generally show you pictures of the sizes I was at and how long it took me to get there then keep watching so hello so my ears now are at the, this this plug is 22 millimeters these plugs sorry are 22 millimeters but my ears are now one inch so this, these are my one inch channels they're 25 mil and I'll just quickly show you that because obviously I want you guys to know that they fit so my ears are both they fit both sides actually I'll put them in both sides Ooh. so that you can see so you guys know I'm not lying obviously um, and then I'm going to show you like what state my ears are in because they're not in very good condition at the moment there you go um, but I'm staying at 22 mil, so the video is called one inch in one year because my ears are now at one inch But I'm not actually gonna like stay. I'm not actually gonna wear one inch plugs, but Yes, so I started stretching my ears my left ear sorry in June 2013 It's now June 2014 and I'm at one inch so it's been a whole year um, And that is not enough time at all. So basically I started out with neither what I was doing Sorry, I can't get my plug in. Um, I started out like not really knowing what I was doing. I was just kind of fanning around. I just thought it would be really awesome to have big holes in my ears. So I kind of set my goal size to 10 millimeters, which is the double zero gauge. And I was just like kind of shoving tapers in. And I, I did hit all the right sizes. I did uh, 1.2. So my ear was started at 18 gauge, which is one millimeter. Then I did a 1.2. Then I did a 1.4, 1.6, sorry, I just used a belly bar, so I used the top, like a belly button bar and just put that in my ear. Then I got a 2 mil taper and then a 3 mil and then a 4 mil and I wore all the tapers as jewellery. And then a 5, and then at 5 millimetres I managed to get, I bought a tunnel. So I found out that you're supposed to wear tunnels and you're not meant to wear um, tapers as jewellery. So I bought a tunnel and I put that in, so I'll put a photo in of that now. Okay, so I'm sorry about the bad quality of the photo, but basically you can just see that my ear is really small. And I do have a picture at 14mm and 16mm, and if you go on my Instagram, you can see um, like how many weeks ago, it, what, how many weeks it was between each size with my left ear. And then what basically, um, I did my left ear, and with the smaller sizes, like the 2mm, 3mm, 4mm, 5mm, 6mm, it's probably up to 7 or 8mm, I would literally do a taper a week so I did two millimeters I would wait a week wear the taper as jewelry just have it dangling around in my ear then the, then the three wear it for a week when the pain stopped I'd be like oh I can stretch now the pain stopped so it's fine so I'd stretch again then again and again and again and again and at 10 millimeters I found out that there's this amazing thing called taping and I was like wow what's that so basically what I would do is I've got a video all about the taping method so I'll link it down below the taping method is one of the better methods of stretching your ears but um, I didn't really know what I was doing so I would put like I would put tape on in the morning I would use oil or cream to like loosen it and get it back out again that evening I would put more tape on put it back in and literally my ears were going up a millimeter every week or every two weeks it was so fast and what I've kind of ended up, and I did the same with my right ear as well. And in the video where I stretched to 14 mil to 16 millimeters, I'll link that as well. Um, you can see that that was literally only, I think it was a month or maybe three months ago that my ear was at 14 mil and it's now at 20 or well, it's at 25. It fits a 25, but it's, I'm currently I'm wearing 22, but I have a gap. So like gapping up. So yeah, so technically I've, I would have naturally stretched to a larger size, but I'll talk about natural stretching in another video. But natural stretching is basically where you just kind of wear your jewelry and when your ear gets loose, you just put the next size in. You don't do any active stretching. And if you can do that, that's really great. And that's the best thing to do, especially when your ears are larger. But at tiny sizes, like two, three, four mil, that's not really gonna work that well. And it's easier to use the taper to get the next size of jewelry in. 
people don't really realise that tapers are not supposed to be worn in your ear, you're supposed to use them to make the hole larger and then you put the jewellery in, but I think people do know that, but it's just easier to wear the taper, especially at smaller sizes, and that's what I did, and I've really suffered from that. So I'm going to show you what my left earlobe looks like. Now, I'll, I'll tell you actually, I blew my ear out uh, at 16 millimetres. I was wearing t I was wearing tapers at 16 mil. I found a place that sold tapers in 15 millimeters and 17, like the in between sizes. So stupidly, like an idiot, I bought all the in between sizes and I would wear them. So massive 16 mil taper just hanging in my ear, and I would just wear it because I didn't know the danger. And then at 16 millimeters, oh, <laughs> my plug fell out. Sorry. Hang on one sec. Okay, hi, sorry. Um, at 16 millimetres, I blew out the back of my ear. So um, if you look at my ear, you can see that there's a, a lip of skin. You see that? And I'll just show you my, if you don't, sorry, if you don't like naked earlobes, then you can just skip a bit ahead. But so this is what my earlobe looks like. And you can see it does look like a cat butt a little bit. And that's because I stretch really fast. And I don't know if people generally will get that anyway because I've stretched both of my ears really fast so I don't know what healthily stretched ear is supposed to feel like but the blowout I had is very slight and you can't really see it too badly and when I put in my so I tend to put my plugs in from behind so it sort of helps the blowout to sit to not show so you can't see it at all I don't have like a nasty lip on either side but so I'm lucky really that my lobes have stayed so thick you can see this side is thicker than this side I think it's because this was pierced higher if you see that so yeah um, so I'll show you the other side as well and this side I stretched even faster so you can see the video where I stretched this one to 16 mil and it's now already 22 and you can see the time frame I've already said that so if you look does have some cat butt but this ear luckily I didn't blow it out because I used tape all the way up from 10 mil so I excuse me I would tape tape to 12 tape to 14 and I did it fast excuse me I did it really fast but it's hard to blow out your ear with tape well I, I didn't manage to blow out my ear with tape by the way a blowout sorry I keep talking about a blowout a blowout is where the skin from the inside of your earlobe which is called your fistula folds and because you stretch too fast and you're making the hole too big it just folds out the back and creates a lip like a second earlobe kind of thing and I have it on this side I don't have it so much I have it very slightly it's really hard to show you but I have a very slight blowout but that actually I got after I'd finished so my ear hit 22 mil I was really happy and um, I just um, went to bed one night, I was wearing double flares, normally I sleep with, um, with um, sorry, uh, with um, stainless steel tunnels, single flare tunnels, with no o-ring on the back, but one night I slept in these, and I woke up in the morning and my earlobe was like spread across it, like it had a whole section that was like added in, like I'd stretched it to, like it, like as if I'd blown it, blown it out, but so I basically had a blowout without even stretching and I think it's because my ear was just so pissed off at me for basically forcing it to get bigger so fast. So what I'm basically trying to say to you is that what you want to do is wait as long as you can wait wait that long between every stretch. If you're using tapers at smaller sizes you can wait less time but if you're tapering using a taper at larger like 16 mil or 14 mil um, which you don't want to be doing you want to use tape if you can um, if you're going to use tapers at that size, it's not the best idea. But if you do that, that's your choice, that's your life. I did it, uh, and, you know, I, I hate people who say, like, oh, well, I did it, and it's fine for me, so it's fine. Uh, but actually, I did do it, and my ears are fine. But you basically, they're not brilliant, and I've seen people who, who have lovely, much better ears, but my ears are thick. Luckily, they're not too thin and gross. But you just want to stretch slow, it's just a much better way of doing everything and it will take longer but you have your, if you stretch your ears, especially to a size like this or a larger size, you're going to have it for your whole life and you wouldn't put like only a year's worth of effort into something you're going to have for the rest of your life, you should put as much effort and time and love into it as you can. Now, so yeah, sorry I feel like I've just rambled but basically what I'm trying to say to you is just you want to wait as long as possible otherwise you will end up with problems and what also another thing that I've noticed is that if you the faster you stretch your ears the quicker they close so like if I take out my plug my ear will be like 
up, up and closed and tight like this in literally about half an hour. It closes so quick. And I've heard people who stretch their ears really slowly who can even sleep with their plugs out and their ears don't close up. Um, but my ears close and I've had my ears this size since Christmas. Well, this year since Christmas, and um, it still closes up really quick. And I think that might have something. Maybe I don't know if you guys know. Then comment and let me know if you have an experience in this. But from what I've noticed, the faster I've stretched, the faster they'll close back up. Um, if I just take my jewelry out. But anyway, yeah. So basically, what I'm trying to say to you is that the best thing you can do is, as long as your patience will allow, just wait as long as you can especially at larger sizes because the tears inside your ear though it might have stopped hurting you still have those tiny micro tears and they're still there and they're not healed up completely and the longer you wait the easier your next stretch will be and the better your earlobes will be all together i've just yelled at you for eight minutes i'm sorry but yeah i just want to like kind of get this video in i know it's not like a technical how-to i'm gonna do one of those later um although i have done a how-to taping and a how-to um, tapering so if you want to watch your videos go ahead and yeah sorry that I feel like I just kind of preached a bit but anyway I um, hope this was useful for some people maybe and I'm gonna make a video in a minute about uh, tongue piercings because I found the pictures of the thing that was on the bottom of my tongue but you can watch that if you want and I will see you later bye